Tempest hit U.S. arcades in 1981. The game was produced and developed by Atari. The game was ahead of its time using 3D dimensional graphics that resembled a tube or a hallway, which was segmented into lanes. You control a yellow looking vehicle of sorts, rotating around the columns aiming downward. You could fire down into each column hitting enemies and avoiding projectiles. The controls were fairly unique for 1981. Rather than a ball or joystick, you controlled your ship with a knob, similar to that you'd find on a TV or guitar amp. It would allow you to use your right hand to rotate on the levels clockwise or counterclockwise. However, you weren't able to move downward or upward in 3D space. The only time you could move in 3D space is when you were transitioning to a different stage, where the game would push you through the hallway downward and you'd have to avoid projectiles. The game was originally supposed to be a 3D remake of the famous Space Invaders. However, early development proved too difficult to replicate the gameplay in a 3D space, so a new design and game was created in the process. Process. However, the game went through three different names. First, Aliens, then Vortex, and finally, Tempest. The game had three different cabinets, a standard upright cabinet with two slightly different color schemes, and a sit-down cocktail cabinet. The cocktail cabinet was the most unique since it could support two players and the screen rotated depending on which side the player was sitting on. The game was received well and ported to most home computer consoles, and probably its most famous port was the Atari ST. Tempest made multiple appearances in pop culture and film and television media. It was in the cult classic Night of the Comet, as well as a music video for Rush. and it also appeared in the book, soon to be movie, Ready Player One. The game received two sequels, Tempest 2000, released in 1994, and Tempest 3000, released in 2000. I know it gets kinda confusing. I was lucky enough to play one of the original stand-up cabinets at PAX 2017, and the controls felt fluid and natural. It was really nice to be able to play an arcade title that I'm doing an arcade corner on, rather than have to do it through an emulator. Have a request for an Arcade Corner? Tweet me and include hashtag Arcade Corner. For more videos like this and everything else gaming related, you're already in the right place. You're on ShackNews.com. Next time on Shaq's Arcade Corner.